Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm hoping this will be a relatively short video and we'll give you a little bit of information if uh, you're looking at these pens. I want to do a very quick comparison here of the Pilot Vanishing Point and the Moon Man or Marjon A2 fountain pens. Um, I have reviewed in various forms both of these pens, but I wanted to show them alongside each other. So clearly, the Pilot pen here is the best known retractable fountain pen probably on the market. It's one of the most successful, one of the most popular at least. It writes beautifully, it's got a great mechanism, and it's got an iconic design. There have been a lot of other retractable fountain pens on the market in recent years. You've got the Lamy Dialogue 3, the Platinum Curidas, the Endless Creator, which is a relatively recent one, but the Pilot has always been there. And in the last little while, Moon Man and Marjon have released this, which is the uh, A2 fountain pen. Now, I have both of these in fine nibs. The Pilot is a gold nib and the uh, uh, Moon Man is a steel nib. Now, I'm saying Moon Man instead of Marjon because this pen is still labelled as Moon Man, but they are the same brand. Uh, Marjon is the newer brand name of Moon Man. Okay, so they are both click retractable fountain pens with a knock on the end that you knock to release the nib. Um, and everything down to the nib shape is slightly the same. Like they're all, you can see the Moon Man is very clearly modelled off the pilot here um but it does come in at kind of like one eighth or one tenth depending on what prices you can get these things at um of the price so it's a much more affordable retractable fountain pen it's a plastic body as opposed to the metal body um but the moon man writes really well the pilot writes exceptionally well so it's all going to come down to whether you can justify for you whether you want to get the copy or the original. Now, I have both because I was asked to review numerous times when I've shown uh, other Chinese fountain pens. I was asked to show this one, so I, I got one and I've reviewed it. Um, and I was surprised with how well it wrote and how nice it felt in my hand and all of that kind of stuff. So, very good. I'm going to do a quick writing sample with both of these. And then I'm going to give you a couple of differences in terms of the dimensions. Um, and then you will have the information, hopefully, that you need. So I'm going to start the writing sample today with the Moon Man. The Moon Man. Marge on A2 with a steel fine nib. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple of lines like this on the side because I'll line those up with the Pilot as well. The ink in this one is Diamine, I always have trouble writing that word. Um, majestic purple, an ink I enjoy, and a pen I enjoy it in. Um, it writes smooth, it's, it's not super wet, but it writes very smoothly, and it has a very, very nice, very fine line. Now, if we look at the pilot vanishing point, or capless as it's sometimes called, with a gold, now I think it's 14K. I will check and I'll put that down in the description if it's wrong, fine nib. You can see it writes broader than the Moon Man, just slightly, just slightly. But, oh, and I should say this ink is Mont Blanc, mystery black. Not my favorite black ink, but a pretty sturdy ink. Um, this writes considerably wetter, um, and it is definitely smoother. It is one of the most consistent writers I've got. It's one of the most enjoyable writing experiences I've got. I'm not a huge fan 
of the clip on the top of these pens. Like for me, that just sits in an awkward place. Um, but with both pens, the convenience of that retractable mechanism, and I can kind of make it work by putting my finger on top of the clip and, you know, we get a decent writing experience and that's fine. The convenience of it is what makes this pen such, or these pen models, all the retractable pens, such a, a really lovely prospect. But you can see they both write really well. The Moon Man being just a little bit drier, perhaps a little bit finer. Uh, and of course, with that gold nib on the Pilot, it's just such a, it's a beautiful writing experience. So aesthetically, there are a couple of differences. You've got a faceted body as against, as opposed to a, uh, like a smooth rounded body, plastic versus metal. Um, there's slight differences, you know, in the clip profile and all those kinds of things. Um, you know, they are slightly different clips. They are slightly different knock, you know, and centre bands and all those kinds of things. Um, but generally speaking, you can see they are definitely, well, the Moon Man is definitely modelled off the Pilot. Okay, so what are the dimensions? Well, the Moon Man, Marjon, comes in at 141 millimetres. One millimetre shorter than the Pilot Vanishing Point, which is 142. Now, when they are, uh, when the nibs are out, the Marjon comes in at 141. So it doesn't change its length between the knocked version and the, well, the retracted version and the out version. Uh, whereas the vanishing point is now 139, so it's two millimeters shorter than the Marjon. The weight of the pens is slightly different. 31 grams, 31.5 grams for the vanishing point and 19 grams for the Marjon. Now, Marjon is plastic, which has a lot less weight also makes it feel like a very easy pen in the hand. Uh, but then again, the stability and the robustness of that metal body make it feel very secure in your hand as well. The other thing that makes the uh, Pilot feel a little bit sort of more substantial is the fact that it's just a little bit wider. So at this center point here, not taking the clip into account, this center point here uh, is around 10 millimeters on the Marjon, whereas at the same point on the Pilot is about 12 millimeters, so it's two millimeters thicker, which you definitely feel in your hand. Uh, and then the widest point of the pen is 12 millimeters versus 13 and a half. So it is, in even though they are very similar size pens, these little differences just give the Pilot just a little bit more of a, I think, a slightly more luxurious feel in the hand. That smooth, particularly this version, the smooth matte finish, um, you know, the slight heft to it, all those kinds of things. But I have to say, this Marjon pen, it packs a lot of punch at its price point. 32 Australian dollars, 20 US dollars. Amazing price point. In Australia, the vanishing point retails for 290, or depending on where you go, you can get it on like reduced prices, the $220 mark, um, or 168 US for this model. So you're talking a pen that is one eighth the price of the Pilot. And yes, the Pilot has a gold nib, the Marjon has a steel nib, it's plastic versus metal, all those kinds of things. You get, you know, warranties with Pilot, you don't get that with Marjon. There's lots in favor of the higher price point. But if this is a, a pen form you are interested in, if this is, if you can justify to yourself getting the Chinese copy of the Pilot at that price point and the way it writes, I think the Marjon actually packs a lot of punch. It'll never replace the Pilot. The Pilot will always be my preferred pen out of these two. The Pilot is a remarkable pen, but at its price point, and you know the fact that the mechanism works flawlessly and it comes in a nice range of colors, Marjon have done some interesting things with it too. So I hope you found this video about these two pens interesting and useful. So thank you for watching, like and subscribe, hit the notifications button, all that good stuff. Get in touch if you'd like to support the channel or if there's something you think I should be looking at. In the meantime, whatever you're writing with, enjoy your pens and I'll talk to you soon.